Afternoon, we would like to welcome Seb Straka to the interview center here at the FedEx St. Jude Championship. Seb, welcome back. I want to start off with just some opening comments about what it's like to be back on the site where last year finished runner-up in an exciting finish. Uh, yeah, it's uh, always good to come back to a place where, um, where you've had success and where you've played well. Uh, last year is the first year I've been here and uh, had, a, had a really good week. And it's always fun to kind of relive some of those shots and some of those memories. And pushing for FedEx Cup numbers now that we're in playoffs, but already a win and two runner-up finishes this season. Um, how are you just feeling about the season entering playoffs? Uh, pretty good, yeah. I uh, had a really good season, I felt like. It was pretty steady, uh, especially the last few months. I've played some pretty good golf. And uh, yeah, uh, it's always good to kind of have a, t a high position going into playoffs and see if I can make a push for it. Perfect. We have time for a few questions. Mark, here in the front. I just asked you, but obviously the focus is on the, the playoffs and, and winning, but how much do you let the Ryder Cup creep into your head at all? Um, in downtime, you do. Uh, you definitely do uh, when you're just at home, but with preparation and all that, you just kind of prepare for the tournament. Uh, it's pretty easy to uh, keep your mind on it when uh, you're in the playoffs because they, they mean so much. And uh, But yeah, when you're off the course, when you're away, you definitely think about it. What's your, I haven't looked at the standing, Seth. What's your way in? World uh, ranking points? 15. Or world ranking? or uh, In terms of the Ryder Cup, uh, what, is, what is your path? Oh, uh, well, they have... The, we have two uh, different ones on the world side. I think I'm two out, but I haven't checked it this week from, from on the last ranking week. Side. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the point side? Are you pretty far down? The European points? Um, yeah, I think I'm not even sure where I am, but yeah, pretty far down. Too far to know. Yeah. <laughs> Probably won't make that <laughs> jump. Do you have any plans post Eastlake? Any playing, any playing plans? God, I should have. What's your schedule after Eastlake? Oh, after East Lake, uh, I'm gonna. I'm planning on playing Wentworth, uh, okay. and then kind of see from there. Uh, kind of a lot of it depends on on Ryder Cup, and uh, but yeah, kind of see from there. Okay, and then as it relates to 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 this, um, you were I think 35 going into the postseason last year, 15 this year. What's the difference? Don't say 20. I do math, but I mean. <laughs> What's, what's the outlook? The goal is East Lake, I take it, but, but is there less pressure on you or, or less uh, urgency? Um, a little bit, but uh, even, I'm, I honestly don't even know how I'm looking for East Lake, but, you know, it, it's always nice to have a better position going uh, into the playoffs, but I felt like I was in a good spot last year. Uh, you know, these tournaments mean so much more, so regardless of where you are, it's a huge difference if you can, if you can play well in these playoff events. Had more. Is, we, is it okay? Is anyone waiting? You're good. Let me know, will you, Haley? Um, as it relates to, to going forward into, into 24, um, are, you, are you comfortable with how this new system has worked out? A, only 70 guys making it to the postseason, and, and B, the big, big events for next year? Um, yeah, I think, I think I like the uh, schedule, the way it's set up with the season starting in January and then uh, playoffs being in September, I think you could still have a bigger playoff. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I guess other sports, uh, everybody doesn't make the playoffs either. So um, definitely more competitive. Uh, it'll be a lot more tournaments played up until the playoffs, I think, by, by some bigger names. Uh, and then, you know, if you play well, you get rewarded in the fall and you can take, take a little time off, which uh, I've never had in, in my career. So it's been, uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to that, yeah. Can you, can you see the, the, I guess, earn what you get out here, the meritocracy, by the fact that, that Harmon and, and Wyndham Clark, uh, Lucas for now are, are in, and Justin Thomas and Adam Scott, et cetera, are not? Yeah, I mean, you have to play well. Uh, top 70, you know, uh, it, it doesn't take a terrible year to finish 71st. Um, so it's competition's pretty deep. Um, and yeah, you have to play really well to make the playoffs now. Uh, you always had to play well. I think 125, you've had it's still a pretty, pretty solid season. And um, yeah, now it really is a little more cutthroat. And then what about the idea of four sponsor exemptions? Do you get a, do you get a sense that, that I'm talking about for the big events next year. Yeah. Do you get a sense they're going to go to the same guys every time? Um, probably, yeah. Uh, but, you know, the tournaments want 
the big names in their tournament, so I could see that. I wouldn't, you know, the smaller fields, I'm not a big fan of in the big events. I think big events should be big fields uh, with a cut, but, um, but I understand that it's, you know, easier to sell the sponsors this way, I guess. But yeah, I have no problem with the four sponsors exemptions. I think that's perfectly fine. Did you pitch any of any of your your um, desires? Seems like too strong of a word here, but but an idea of of more cuts, more opportunities, bigger fields. Obviously, they've gone smaller. But did you feel like you had a a voice, or did you not bother? Uh, no, I mean I've been talking to the player relations people. They're always uh, in touch with us and 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 dining and stuff. So we've had a lot of conversations. I know I'm in the minority. I think. Uh, even among the top players, uh, but you know that's just something I've always grown up to like uh, is is bigger field events with with a cut. You know, so um, I think they mean more if there's uh, more players. But you know, I, I mean, I, I see the other side of it. I just would prefer uh, the bigger fields. What makes you think you're in the minority? Uh, just hearing people out, I guess, you yeah. uh, know. I think the majority of people prefer smaller fields, uh, faster rounds, which I'm a fast player. I prefer that too, but, uh, but yeah, um, I don't really have a big reason just hearing people talk. I'm talked out. I know. And that concludes the Doug Ferguson interview. <laughs> All right. We'll keep it short and sweet. Seth, thank you, and good luck this week. Perfect. Thank you.